Hi guys, welcome to another J News. My name is Victor, and if you're Canadian, you're not allowed to watch this video. I'm sorry, but we just have this no Canadian rule here. Nothing personal. Of course, I'm just kidding. Nothing against Canadians. I just like to tease you guys because you guys are the nicest people in the world. But today's uh, J News is inspired by an article that I read that one of my teach my students actually brought me, and he's, she's like, "Look at this! Isn't this terrible? I'm so outraged." Um, but actually, she was kind of laughing at the same time, like, "Ha ha ha." And she's a pretty international person. She travels all over the world, so maybe that's why this didn't bother her. I don't know how other Japanese people think about it. Beijing restaurant removes racist sign after whipping up fury across Asia. And here's a picture of the sign. But um, this shop does not receive the Japanese, the Philippines, the Vietnamese, and dog. Now you might be thinking, okay, I get it. I know. See, the Japanese and the Philippines and the and the Vietnamese, they're all having like territorial disputes with China. Very good. Good, yeah, good job. Uh, but what about dog? What's it? What is it with dog? I don't get that. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm personally offended because, you know, Maggie and I, we're going to go to China, have some ramen over there. Forget it. We're taking our business somewhere else. Any other country make noodles? I don't know. Another uh, part of this article is interesting. It said, the sign's wording was particularly inflammatory. Inflammatory, it's, you know, when you get STDs, like, that happens to you. As it recalls, China's colonial era when British-owned establishments barred Chinese from entering. And I thought, yeah, of course, yes, in England, back in the day, you know, they had a white-only section. And, of course, America did too, right? Back in the 1920s, they had white-only water fountains and colored-only sections and bathrooms and taxis and buses. And then, of course, Rosa Parks stood up and she said, no more! And she she became a hero, and uh, in the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King, etc., etc., and now America is not so bad, right? Mm, actually, we still have problems, of course, as you all know. Just the other day, a um, white guy wrote a note when his, his wife was having a baby in the hospital. He said, no black nurses, please. Did he write, please? I don't know. Would it matter? You know? <laughs> Can you be a polite racist? And according to the article, it's like everybody knows this kind of stuff happens. Like, it, it, it's not the first time. It was just kind of, you know, kind of exposed, you know? But this stuff happens, and although it's getting better, it happens more, I guess, in less um, socially evolved countries where they have fewer minorities, like here in Japan and in China. So it's really not that surprising. But the good news, I think, is that I think it's getting better because, you know, 25 years ago or so, when I first came, there were more of these signs, but I, I rarely see any of these signs anymore. The only places I really see them at all now are like in front of, when you're walking down the street and they're like a like an adult, adult toy store, and they, they sometimes have a sign like, no foreigners. I get all my adult toys back in the States, so there's no problem with me. But no, seriously, there's I, I rarely see those signs. I do have one student I said who, um, she she knows somebody who runs a kind of a, a soap land or brothel and uh, they don't allow foreigners because foreigners don't understand the language. And it was pretty much what Mayfei's problem was the other day when we, we did that video about she, Mayfei who's not being able to get an apartment. Uh, a lot, one of the main things I left out of that video was that of, it, one of the big problems is language, the language barrier. Why would you buy a building and want to rent it out to people and then have to micromanage each apartment with some foreigner who doesn't understand your language? Even if they do understand the language, and the, the, the possibility or the probability that they can write and read and write are pretty minuscule. It's hard. I've been, you know, I still struggle with it. And I've been here forever. I can, I can completely understand that. But anyway, back to this topic. Um, the way that these countries dealt with it uh, is interesting. You know, Viet the Vietnamese were really outraged over this. And you, they're arguably less um, in globalized. Is that the word? Then the Philippines, and the Philippines kind of laughed it off, and they're like, what's the big deal? The Chinese, they eat fingernails and fetuses anyway, who cares, you know? So I think one of the, uh, as, we, as we become more evolved as a, as a society, we become more accepting of things like this, uh, of jokes regarding things like this, and we kind of laugh at other people's small-mindedness, like this Chinese guy. But at the same time, yeah, we don't do it. We don't put up signs like this. So you can't do this in America uh, so openly. And when you do, like the, the guy who asked, you know, no black nurses for my baby, you know, it becomes a big deal. So, it's getting better. What do you think of this sign anyway? Um, are you guys like, what do you think, like the Japanese are getting a taste of their own medicine? Or do you think it's just, it just shows that the Chinese are less evolved than the Japanese? Because I, I, I imagine there are more signs over there. And you gotta admit, anyone who's got something, a problem with dogs, you know, something wrong with them, right? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Victor. If you're, if you're not subbed to my channel, sub right now. Get the newest videos. This is the most controversial, most controversial channel, most, most controversial, controversial channel, channel in the J Vlogging community. So, give me some comments, give me some thumbs up, and uh, share the video. And thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.